Hello everybody, as you see I'm kind of on fire and I may die. I don't know, I live. Hello everybody. So you know, I'm in the nether right now. It's a very dangerous place, very unwelcome to the un unexperienced traveler. You see, you see, it's not very fun. So, what you gotta do is you gotta just like, do this, and like... Or, you can just go this way, like a smart man. And not a fool, not a flopper. Go this way and go like this. Anyway, um, so like I don't know I just was bored. Thought I'd be making this video. Thought the other would be a good place to make a video. I don't know. I was bored. I I guess I, I think I'll just talk about um stomach stuff that's been going on of late. So there was a peace period, and like for a couple of weeks we couldn't. No one could declare war. Anyone like no bueno. And in theory, theory, in theory, it was a good idea. It might let people cool off. It might, you know, let people want to take a chill pill, see what's what, and you know, be dandy and all that jazz. But what happened is that there's a mill. Where am I? Huh? Oh, I know where I am. Okay, never mind. But in all, in all reality, um, do I need to tap out? I'm actually going somewhere right now, so, you know. But in all reality, uh, apparently there's a blood fest going on. Uh, war is uh, everywhere. I participated in two, both were disappointments. We crushed the enemy army, it was funny. You can see that in my vi videos before this one. You know, what the... Who are you? Okay. Lovely. Let's just go this way. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm supposed to go in the other way, but you know, whatever. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I'm supposed to go in this way. Wait. Yeah. Oh, I'm s oh, well, yeah, no, I'm smart. Yeah, well, uh, okay, here we go. Um, yeah, it still works. Um, so the hands have basically quit from what I've, from what I've seen. Um, if you guys don't know the hands, uh, if you guys like, haven't seen some works or like don't play or are off your own little corner and not really caring about Spyroid and Bardonia, hands are basically the ones that, r that ran Bardonia for, good, for, for a good while. And the server hates them. Server dislikes them immensely. F and you could say for good reason, you could say for bad reason. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting into that debate. Well, I have. Well, my mates haven't had the greatest run into the hands or hand members. There are some, like, I don't know. Uh, some would say affiliated, but I would say not really affiliated people with the hands who are pretty chill. So, yeah. But the hands are basically gone, no bueno, and have dipped. Um, what? Well, yeah. The hands were not the most liked group in um on the server. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people did not like them, as I've said. But you know, yeah. Um, trap pose. Ooh, interesting. Mm, nope, no, 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 interesting. Um, another thing, the veal war. Let me give you a quick rundown of the VR, because I I'm not like I don't know the entire history of all the VR wars or his sister with Hazel or all the thingy the barbers. Basically, Hazel, who was a moderator, who and uh, let's just say um yeah interesting moderator, let's just say that. Um, we had to wait three weeks to um war deck v VO city, v Doctor city, and uh, <laughs> Hazel almost made us made us wait another three weeks before we could actually conquer it. Do you know why? You know what Hazel said? And I quote, Oh, you can't war deck my- I'm well, not quote, it's not a direct quote, this is a- Most of it would quote. Oh, you can't war deck my city because you don't have nothing- You have nothing of equal value. What do you mean? <laughs> that's the dumbest thing you could have said. <laughs> like, no, that's just not right. Like, look at- So we're using, like, Maxstat, and we're attacking- We're attacking Vivo City. 
yes, Vio City is older, but Max City is also of equal value because there's a ton of things there that are available. Just look at the, hey, the statue alone. Like, come on, man. Come on, don't do it like this. Am I going the right way? There you go, the way. Okay. And, uh, yeah, after a f very tense couple of moments in the ticket, and a. No, you know, okay, you know what else, you know what else Hazel said in that in said ticket? Oh, I'm going to disband my nation so Lloyd can't wood deck my country. My capital. Lol. Well, not lol, but like, yeah. We're like, bruh! But then Taki was like, oh, that just make it easy for the war deck. She's like, oh, then never mind. I won't, I won't just win my country. <laughs> it was so dumb. It was so very dumb. And just so you know, this is war dodging. This is cowardness. This is metagaming. This is admin abuse. Because they're... Hazel is a moderator. And clearly using the rules to, her, to his advantage. Yeah. Clearly. Like, if it's not clear enough for you, then I I, I don't know what, w what would be. But yeah. He was clearly using all of this to her advantage. Oh, this one. Ooh. Um, yeah. And then after a tense couple of moments, uh, waiting for Taggy to decide if we could use Max that to, um, Attack Hazel's lovely city. Um, he said yes. He got a second opinion and said, "Yep, it is totally legitimate for you to attack this city." Oh, and we cheered. We cheered in that VC, mother. Yeah. Yeah, and. We're like, yes! And so, Hazel can no longer war dodge. Also, just so you know, at this point in time, we already had a war day, we already had a war time, we already had a war city, we already had where we're going to attack. We told Hazel, Hazel this multiple times. You know what we, you know what we, all, we also offered Hazel? We told Hazel to surrender. We told Hazel to give it up. Hazel refused. Time and time again, Hazel refused. Or she just, or he just didn't answer the looks DMs. Like, yeah, this was meta gaming, war dodging, and I'm used all rolling to one. But you know, he's a moderator. We can't do nothing about it. But uh, to be clear, uh, when we were waiting for Tacky to come out with a decision, we all like this is already clear before. Tacky is an awesome admin. Like he, he helps everyone. He's cool like that. He's a very he's a very fair admin, but he follows the rules. If it's against the rules, he won't do it. As if it even bends the rules slightly, he's not gonna do it. But if if it if it goes by the rules, you got the game and you're good. And he has to follow the rules or else he gets in trouble. So yeah, he's a good admin under bad rules. That's what we always say. Whenever he has to make hard decisions, and we as a player know which one is correct. Well, okay, not which one is correct, but we believe it's correct. We're like, we we understand if he chooses the like the option we wouldn't wish, because like the rules are kind of dumb and wrong considering the war. The war rules need work. Let's just say that. And Taggy did the best he could under his said circumstances. But yeah, we all think Tacky's based because he's awesome like that. He's a cool person. Alright, we hear none say otherwise. Uh, we chest? No. No, no, no. That's just. Okay. Oh, was this Flamer? He's <laughs> gonna just get to something bit in a wall. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's one thing happened. And then another thing happened yesterday. Amora as part of um, the enemy thought we, there would only be five guys. <laughs> we showed up with all the whole thing and like fifteen guys. It was funny. They were they were crushed. And then I put my pickaxe to Green Tomato's face. It was fun. All teeth, more more accurately. Okay, okay technically, yeah, <laughs> well, no, nah, not even close. <laughs> yeah, I used pickaxe because I was invis and uh, looting. But you know. Sh But 
yeah, that's uh, that's what happened there. And then there's uh, a blood fest going on in um, Blay, what you, what, you, what you would call it, uh, like the Alamein area. Like there's, I think there's a war going on over there for some reason, and they was wanting to kill each other. I did not bring a pickaxe, unfortunately. Which is deeply unfortunate. Ooh, it's ring. No, no, I only won. That seems like a death hole right there. I'm not gonna lie to you. No, I'm not going down there. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, and... When we saw what Hazel said about disbanding the province or nation of Antintitum, we were like, bruh, bruh, this is, this is next level. This is next level. It was, it was extremely dumb. It was, like, this is why war dodging rules need to be updated. I am, I'm making, in this video, okay. If any of get to this point in video, if you're like, or if you'd like to suffer through my voice, I make this personal plea to you. I know no animals will watch this, but like, fuck it. For love of God, tighten up the war dodging rules. Look at what Hazel doing. Look what Ashari did. That was basically war dodging, and they got away with it clean. They disbanded their nation, or... Surrender and became a vassal just so they wouldn't get caught, just so they wouldn't get their just reward. Sorry, Harad. But, Hashari did a lot of. did. angered quite a few people, or. like, I don't know. It was. yeah. They had. A, they were. we had them dead to rights, and they just banded. dead to bloody rights. And they. and they gave. you know how much. <laughs> dead to rights, and yet they gave up and got away with it. And then. And you know what happened then? They bought 100 Prop 4 sets just for that war. They're like, oh, after the war, after we won, we're gonna uh, go after all the Kartex and like, ah, uh, war them and attack them, blah, blah, blah. They talk so much shit. They talk so much incredibly amount of, uh, an incredible amount of shit. And in the end, they got yeeted. They got humiliated. <laughs> yeah, it's mega dumb, but you know, whatever. Tighten up the war rules, please. Just look at all this. Look at the admin abuse. Look at the war dodging. <laughs> look at this. Like this one players have to do. This one. This one. This one makes players want to quit. They see admins. I mean, well, moderators clearly get away with stuff they shouldn't be getting away with, just because they are on the staff. The staff team is not exempt from the rules. The staff team is not exempt from the same rules players are. And they should not be. They should not be able to get away with such idiotic things because they're on the staff team. And, and there should be no question whether we should be able to war deck via, via, via Doxa City. Because not only were they preparing defenses for three weeks, we made this war public for three goddamn weeks. There's no possible way, no possible way that that is not fair. There's no, no possible way that we should not be allowed to do so. So I tell you this. Fix your bloody moderator problems. Do not forgive or forget abuse by a staff member. Because that was clearly abuse. That was clearly abuse of the war rules. Clearly abuse of their position. And that should not stand. That should not stand whatsoever. And you know. You know if anyone makes a ticket on this, it's going to be ignored, it will go slowly, you'll get into a shouting match with someone. This is how all tickets go, if it's, if it's against a moderator. It's not as bad as it once was, no. But, everyone knows, universally, whether they think it or not, if they attempt to, like, so much as get, as, like, make an accusation against a staff member most of the time, like, it will it'd be, A, ignored, C, It'll turn a shouting much. Three. It'll be, it'll be like, no. Let me bring any rules. Nah. I only know, uh, I only really know of a, the Hazel's, what I see is abuse anyway. You know, they're perhaps abusive in admin, but it's less so. It's whatever. And admin's kind of chill, so it's, it's fine. We don't talk about it. But like, if admin's gonna abuse their power, then like, that's what, that's what, that's why people quit the server. Do they not understand? Like, time and time again, have we, we have shouted from the rooftops. 
if you want the people to play on your server, then make it goddamn fair. Make it that so people don't get away with stupid breaking, get away with breaking the rules consistently. Especially if they're moderators. They should be held to a higher standard. And yet they are not. <laughs> the players are held to lower. And if, if, the, if the player so much as slightly, slightly breaks the rules, they, they get punished hard. Aye, some bands are fair. Aye, some bands are well deserved. But let me put, let me, a situation from the week before. Let me put it this way. If someone accidentally, or what I see is accidentally, takes XP from someone's body who they did not kill, and if they're a bandit, should they or should they not lose their tag, almost get banned, and get blacklisted for making a ticket for a month? For taking XP, they offer to return. For taking XP that they apologize for. No. That's just that's incredibly stupid. That's dumb. But you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to do the rules. And, sh and my mate is lucky he did get away with only that punishment. With such a slight infraction. Yeah, I guess, I think I built my rant now, but you know. Yeah, I don't know. Probably get benefit with this, but you know, who, who cares? Maybe for like toxicity or something. Bet. 